I'm just setting up my phone as well. Still new at this, as you can see, being a goddamn boomer. I'm a boomer. Okay, this is live. The chat is here. I'm saying, hey. Let me put some music back on. No, I think we should be good. Here we have Caldus Bagel. My main bag. How are you doing? So, I'm really sorry about this, guys, but I'm going to start the chat with the Twitch with a little downtime as I am uploading my comic right now. And to make it up to you, I'll show you the comic after that. But yeah, I'll check the chat regularly. Just cleaning up the house a little. That's what you're supposed to do on a Saturday. I'm doing great. And tight. And chat. I am doing fine, doing good. I'm going to be streaming a little bit. But first I have to upload my latest comic. And you know, this day we do everything live. So you can talk to me while I put this up in my many, many social media platforms. I'm going to narrate the whole thing. I almost started uploading it in the wrong order. All right, this is a great comic featuring homegirl Suzy Spaghetti, Spaghetti Suzy, her friend Meatball, and a weird cool blue bear. Well, that's what's going on right now. I'm uploading it as we speak on Instagram. Yeah. I'm going to call this one Susie. Susie's bars. It's a thing about rap. You'll see, you'll see. Freestyling, keeping it real. Comics, surprising. I'm just, when I use hashtag, it's always pretty random. Hashtag, lolwood, trying to catch the cool kids. on Tumblr as well. I love that I'm able, able to do that. Just post it on different platforms at once is really the best. Yeah, yeah. All right, sharing it on my story. Titling, titling it new comic. Guys, mm, very random, funny guy, you know, very random, very funny. What's the chat saying? Oh my god, do I have to go back to the chat manually on my phone every time? This is bad design. I know it's... What? What's going on? Why do I not have the chat anymore? SMH in the chat. Oh, I like the yellow dude, says Coldest Bagel. Coldest Bagel. Yeah, the yellow dude is actually a girl, although I know it's not very obvious, you know. Putting the music back on, coming back here. Yeah, still the music. Yeah, the yellow dude is actually Spaghetti Suzy. I don't know why I don't have 
So this is weird. I always have the chat on my phone when I stream, but like today it's all messy. I hate it. I can see what was previously typed because I switched up or something silly like that. So once I upload it here, I have to upload it on my French account as well. Oui, oui, oui. The French upload. Le rap de Suzy, tout à fait. We do have a lot of hip hop and rap in France. Although I think the freestyling culture is not as deep as in the US, obviously. Freestyle. Dropping some hashtags, sharing it, sharing it on stories as well. Nouvelle BD, is how we say new comic in French. Nouvelle BD. Let's see if Twitch is still being uh, B word. It seems it is. I go on my channel to check the chat and it cuts the music and I don't have the chat. Oh, I don't know. Okay, guys, I'm really sorry about this. This is my messiest chat yet. I, I don't know why it doesn't seem to like Hey, Alistair John. Hey, Coldest Bagel. Alistair John, if you've written something before, I'm not seeing it. I don't know why. So, yeah, hang tight with me a little bit. I'll... I'm sorry, like, I don't can see the previous messages. I hate it. This is a bad move. But, yeah, mm -hmm. I still got to upload my comic in a couple places and then I'll be all with you guys. Maybe I should have just started late. I don't know. Suzy's rap, Suzy. Suzy's bar. All right, I'm tweeting this. Tweeting this and that. I didn't miss much. You say you call this bigger. Well, that's good. That's good. The music will be back once I have put up my comic on most platforms. All right. Share this. Let's share it on Reddit as well. You know what? Yeah, I'll share it. I'll share it on Reddit. Share it on comics. Title it. I'm not a rapper. Great, great reference from way back. OG meme stuff. Alright, trying to put this. This may be the Wi-Fi. It was just missing. Spaghetti Suzy is a great name and that she looks like a long-necked version of the aliens from Solar Opposites. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen Solar Opposites, but yeah, she does have that um, Mr. Poopy Butthole from Rick and Morty face, you know. I think I was probably influenced by that. Like the eyes on the side and the long mouth like that is very, very Rick and Morty-esque, you know. 
Let's upload on a couple more because I posted on Reddit comics, but with Reddit I have to also post it on Reddit web comics. I could do this all day, just spam it on every, I should actually spam it on every subreddit, but it's just so much work, you know. Oh, good bars. All right, let's post it. Keep with me a couple of minutes. The only music being the sound of my voice as you stare as a hastily made doodle. And I check the chat once in a while. Oh, yeah, I don't have Hulu, but yes, yeah, Solar Opposites by one of the creators from Rick and Morty. Yeah, it's from Justin Roiland. Do you like it? Is it good? Uh, like the concept seemed, seemed cool. All right, let me know. Cross post my Reddit post to my subreddit. My God, my God, this is really the part of the work that I don't like, but that is absolutely vital to do. It's just uploading it everywhere, you know. Alright, posting it on subreddit r slash Pierre Mortel. If you guys are on Reddit, go subscribe to this. I hate sounding like an influencer. Don't forget to smash that like button, hit that bell, buy my shit, you know. But yeah, you gotta do all that. But a hustle, as they say. And now let's post it on my French subreddit because I'm a masochist. So I don't get a lot of interaction on Reddit, but still, since I I got some followers there and I know they like to see my comics pop up, I still post them. So if Instagram goes down, I still have some backup plans, you know. That's why I post everywhere. Le rap de Suzy. Post. Please stay with me. I know for anyone joining in, this isn't the, not the greatest part of the stream, but soon I'll be drawing and I'll be answering your questions and stuff. Coldest Bagel about Solar Opposite is saying, it's amazing, they have side stories about people in the wall. The alien boy shrinks people and then keeps them in glass in the wall and they have a whole dystopian society in there. It's hilarious. Well, I think I'm sold. I'll definitely check it out. I'll find a way to watch it without Hulu. Because it seems really cool. Also, I think I missed the finale of the latest Rick and Morty season. So I think I'll have to check this because they usually make good finales. So Reddit is done. Now we have just a couple. Please hang on for a couple more social networks. And so we got Imjur, Imjur, which is, I get some comments and some stuff sometimes, but not that much. All right, let's upload it. So this is wrap. And just post it. I'm not making too much effort. I can't be making effort on every platform to write some different stuff. And I don't like when people just copy paste the same text everywhere. So sometimes I just post the comic, you know, that's already enough. If people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. And I'm seeing a gif of cute puppies that have like, are watching TV on a phone inside like a little cardboard box. It's really cute. It's maybe I should be on a treadmill, you know, instead, but they look really cuddly watching probably some bird videos or whatever. This is well because there's actually two posts on Imgur right now with cats in boxes. All right, the Imgur post has been published. And now, I know you're not seeing all this, I'm just narrating it. Now, there's still Facebook, there's one, 
I have to post on my French Facebook. And honestly, Facebook user experience is so weird. Like I have two pages, the French one and the other one, and they're not, they don't work the same. I'm always like running around trying to find how I can connect to my French page, which is not a separate account, not a separate profile like the regular English language one. I have to find my page and then view as the page and then I can publish a picture. Le rap de Suzy. No, I don't want to boost it. I don't want to pay Facebook to promote something that I'm not really making money of. I do want to share it as myself and not as my page. I'll share it here and then I switch and also share it on my regular profile and then I switch profile to my page. Oh my god, really? A new comments. No, it's not a new comments. Honestly, guys. Let's just share the post I made. Oh my god. Facebook. I hate it. Should just drop it honestly. But you know how. Let me share it on my profile. What have I done? Alright, goodbye Facebook. Hey chat. Hey everyone. Okay, this is starting now. To let me put some music back on if I can. Let's, you know what, let's even start the music from the beginning. Alright, let's start this chat in earnest. I'm just posting something in the chat as well. Post random prompts and I'll draw them as fast as I can. All right, this is starting. And if you have questions, if you want to tell me what's going on with you as well, what you guys like and don't like, what you want to see, what you like, I mean, not I mean, my comics, but you can also just tell me if, you are, if you've gotten into running or whatever. Walter White, happy, all right. Happy Walter White. Let's do him like, I like the drawing they did of him. Oh, it's like weird robot portrait. I'm starting with a big brush. Oh, I don't think that's really something like that. Starting with a big brush for maximum impact. That's kind of that square jaw, maybe not as square as that. Okay, this is ridiculous. The glasses I think are too too high up. Maybe something like that would be more. It's really hard draw people when you never train for that, you know. I think the glasses are still too high up. Right, you know what? It's just gonna be a really crappy doodle, but I think it's very fun as well. 
So, let's start with the unhappy face. Oh yeah, I forgot about his beard. He's, lo he's looking like Steven, fat Steven Seagal, you know. What am I doing? Alright. Alright. Happy Walter White. This is my masterpiece. I'm gonna set the short with this. This is basically his moustache, right? I'm such a master of the human figure, you know, the human face. As you can see, people usually have a slight asymmetry in the ears. Usually uh, one ear is like a half, a uh, one inch, two inch shorter than the other, lower, like that. This is not a mistake, this is exactly what I meant to do. But Walter White wouldn't be Walter White without some wrinkles in the forehead. And let's meme this even more with like something like that. Do you mind, could you please lower music a little? Hard to hear you. Sorry, guys. Is this better? This should be fine. I'm also moving the music a bit away from the mic, so that might help. Okay. We have a very happy Walter White. And... Yeah, let's do an anatomically correct hands. I don't know if you guys know that, but hands usually have five fingers. I know I draw four, but it's a little drawing trick that I learned. Well, it's easier to draw four finger, fingers than five fingers. But the real truth, and not many people know that, is that people actually, like, if you look at your hand, you'll probably find that you have five fingers. This is the kind of stuff you learn studying arts, you know, for a really long time. Usually it's got a shot like that. All right. You're welcome, of course. I want you guys to hear me because I always have very interesting th stuff to say. You're good. Darn, because he's the happy one. This is great. All right, so do you guys have any other prompts? I mean, this one, I think we've already picked, you know, like this, it's all downhill from there, but if you have any other ideas, spam that chat. But yeah, yeah, this is like, doesn't get any better than this. Maybe, maybe I can, oh, this is what I wanted to do. Maybe I can add a little bit of paint on this guy. Let's go with the same vibe, so very bad art. Let's keep going with some paint. Something like that. Very pinkish figure. Yeah, this is good. Obviously, the glasses are bright orange. As well as his hair. No, let's still make them a little brownish. 
And for the shorts, let's go with something tasteful like a very intense green. All right, I think this was the missing piece, but maybe we can add some texture effects as well. Do I have like, can I just do some stains? So it looks really artistic. Oh, well, there's an artistic thing, but it's not that. Textures. All right, you know what? Let's just go back to our good old syrup brush and move on to the next prompt. Okay, so we got some other prompts. A squirrel. Okay, the, so this is the hardest word to pronounce for French people. Squirrel, squirrel. It doesn't make any sense so this is pronounced. And a squirrel, a squirrel, you know, you know the animal drinking coffee. So yeah, this is, this is my bread and butter, guys. This is like the kind of stuff I can do all day. So I used to draw animals like that all the time. I do it a little less. I mean, maybe you guys won't see the difference, but that's really how I used to do it for a while. Actually, now that I do it, it's really close to how I draw the bear, even in my my latest comic that I just posted, you know. This is just doodle time, by the way, so... Yeah, I'm not going to push these ones. Isn't it crazy how when I draw them, bear and squirrel have exactly the same face? Yeah. What Coldest Bagel is saying, haha, you shouldn't have told me that. But what shouldn't I, shouldn't I have told you? Because I'm seeing, I think you're hearing me a little bit after I spoke, so I'm not sure what you're referring to. What have I said? Did I accidentally gave my credit card information or something? Alistair John saying, just adding prompts in advance, lol, in case I fall asleep. Hey, thanks, it's appreciated. It will give me something to go on. All right. So actually, he's looking kind of sad. I want him to look tired because he's just waking up so something like that French people have trouble pronouncing squire I mean there's no way to derive the way it's said from the way it's written so I mean there, it's true obviously for a lot of words in a lot of languages but like squirrel squirrel Squirrel, the way we would say it in French would be like squirrel, squirrel. And actually we have the same word for the word because ours is écureuil. But the way it's pronounced is like mind-boggling. I can't even remember how it's pronounced every time. I recognize it, of course, when I hear it, but of the cuff it's really hard. But what will you do with this information, Bagel? I don't think you can actually, you know, hurt a lot of people with that. Are you going to go around finding French people and showing them picture of a squirrel and saying, what's that animal called? That would be pretty evil. If after that you make fun of them, I can see that maybe I shouldn't have told you. So obviously he's got an oversized coffee like that. And I think he's using a straw. That's right, guys. Scowl. Well, scowl, scowl. Yeah, you know, it's like... It, we don't really have words pronounced that way, I think, which is why we struggle. Scowl. Squirrel. Squirrel. It's kind of like you swallow the whole... That's exactly what you're gonna do, go on to French people and just troll them with that word. 
I mean, be careful because we have a lot of words that you guys can pronounce. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm sure most Americans or most English speaking people will have trouble saying écureuil, right? And this is the same world, so maybe it's difficult in both directions, you know. You're saying it right. I don't know, I've said it so many different ways that I don't, I'm not even sure. Squirrel. All right. Maybe he's got a little nut to go with that. Little walnut here. Yeah. This is it. Let's go check another prompt. Indiana Jones on fire. Indiana Jones on fire. That's pretty easy. That's really easy, actually. It's another white man with hat. He's obviously dying. Right. Maybe he's not sticking his tongue out. Maybe he's more like. Yelling. And he's like, what? What's going on? Why? No, I'm on fire. The squirrel put me on fire. The scroll, like Starbucks, scroll books. I would hate if it was called that and I had to pronounce it every time, you know. All right, you guys start thinking of another prompt because. This one is going to be done soon, and then I'll move on to working on a little commission. Alright, so this is quite obviously Indiana Jones. Always at the whip, so people can be sure that it's either Indiana Jones or some weird slaver from the 19th century, you know. Or maybe some guy working in a circus. Like as you guys can see, I'm not, like this is really free doodling, you know, I'm not really trying to make it pretty at all, just get the idea across. And let me add some color on top of that. Just fire. Let's try, let's read it and try another weird texture. Oh my god, I'm burning now. What's happening to me? Haha, <laughs> a rape Indiana Jones. Yeah, rest in peace. I wonder if he's got like 50 cousins, you know, he's got like te Texas Bob and Missouri Jack, you know. And Indiana Jones is the only one who survived. I don't know what I'm saying, guys, but yeah. You know what? Let's color. Oh, good one. Casper. No, oh, let's colorize also the squirrel real quick. Stay in the same, same kind of tones. Oh, okay, this is too big. Let's try another texture. I mean, might as well experiment, you know. Plimsoll. 
Sam zdaje ki sam IKF vam ni čula. Yeah, my Pimzel shelf is great. I love it. Some walnut colors as well. And let's just add some kind of logo here. Right, and that will do. So, yeah, the last two prompts are going to be Casper Burden with cool depth and Shark with braces and glasses. Nerd Shark. There's something called as Vegas is saying, there's something I love so much about quick doodles and coloring. Like when it's not perfect, it has its own unique style and coolness. Yeah, I see. I mean, I see what you mean. Totally, I agree. I, I love quick doodles as well. It's also when you see... If you see an, art, an artist that you like, Doodle, usually there's some freshness about it that you can really see just their quirks and their, their personality. Which is something that I really like. And you're like, damn, even in a small Doodle is really good, you know. All right, so let's squeeze in a couple more Doodles. Casper, Burden with Cool Dead. So I'm going to go, it's probably going to be really bad just because I don't remember what Casper looks like really and I refuse to look it up. Let's have him working a fast food job. School debt is really scary, you know, like the amount people pay. So it's kind of like that, right? He's back, back from his job at McDonald's, checking out how much he owes. And it's just too much, you know. He doesn't know how, long, how much longer I can handle it, and worst, worst part is he can't even kill himself. Let's give him that some kind of red. Yeah, all right, that's a great quick doodle. Really easy. I like that you guys are complimenting each other's ideas on the chat. This is really cute. Good atmosphere here on Pierre Mortel's chat. Don't even know how many people are watching. But I hope all your lurkers are having a good time as well. Feel free to pop in the chat, but if you don't want to, that's fine. If you want to just listen to my smooth voice or check out the little dudes as I draw, it's all appreciated, you know. Let's give him a shadow. And he just came home, so he's got his bag. His cool bag here. Just some bag, you know. With like some books sticking out of it. It's a blue bag. Underpaid ghost fast food student workers. That's right. How is he supposed to learn anything? I, I kind of like this doodle, except that the bags under the eyes 
kind of look like a moustache, so I'll remove them, but maybe I can make it work. With very minimalist style, it can be a problem. I like adding bags under the eye, but it can really start to look weird, you know. And I can just attach them to the eye like that, it could work. All right, what do I use as my out outline br brush? It's this one, Bagel, it's the Syrup brush. It's an inking, the second category of brushes in Procreate. I like it just because it's a very simple one, you know, it's like, it's not trying to imitate something else, it's just like, I think it's slightly triangular shape. If you actually look it up, yeah. So it gives a little volume to the line, even if you don't try, but you can still have a pretty consistent line, it's cool. All right, so I made this little blob and I'm going to do that null shark from here. Oh, yeah, you like that brush as well. And what I like to do sometimes also is try to kind of carve my drawing out. So, let's start with the teeth. I don't know, I have no idea what I'm doing, you know. Just that I made this random shape and I'm trying to do an art shark. So, obviously the teeth, this, this big shape on the upper left, looks like a uh, he shark's head a little bit, so I'm going to use this for the head. It's a good exercise as well. So then we have the glasses. So our shark has some glasses like that. Let's come back like that. Like, it's funny because glasses are actually kind of, uh, it can be kind of a trap when you draw because it really reveals, reveals whether or not your character is actually built in a real 3D way because they are supposed to be on the side of the head. So for a lot of characters, it doesn't really work, you know. Either the ears are not lined up with the eyes or just the face is too wide. And so regular glasses wouldn't work. So you can either cheat or fix your design. So usually I cheat, of course. And just stick the glasses in a weird way or don't even give them like branches or anything. All right, so yeah, let's give him the braces. Ah. Drawing braces is probably a weakness of mine. It's probably just the, actually the first time I drew braces at all, you know. And this is, since I've drawn both rows of teeth, it just doesn't make any sense to have the braces like that, but you know, whatever. I'm not getting paid for any of this. Mr. John saying, awesome with a lot of ease, which I appreciate because it means it's even more awesome. So yeah, actually this is, yeah, it's, it's closer to doing something like a wood carving, you know, when you work like that, especially if you try to not add black at all, which I've been doing like a little, but you can even push this exercise, exercise further and try to just remove black from your first stain and never actually add anything. It gives that raw feel, you know, so I still have to signify that he's a shark because for none, it's just some creepy face. He doesn't have really the pointy look, you know. So what I'm thinking is we can have the fin here. And 
will be something like that. Do something like that. So we have the main body. Trying not to add too much black, although I do have to sometimes put some back or whatever. So let's give him a flipper here. That. And then. Yeah, I think I'm starting to get a good picture of my in my head of how it's gonna go. So he's got he's a nerd, so he's got a book. Yeah. No, wait. So let's start with the body. That would be something like that. Like that. He's kind of a hunched over. He's not a sports nerd, he's got a bad posture, you know. Right. He's a pretty nerdy guy. He's got. He got his book, all right. He got the book here. Yeah. What kind of book we don't know yet. We can only assume it's a nerdish book. Is it a physics book, a comic book? Protecting his manga collection, or maybe, maybe hoping that someone will actually come and check it out. You know, this is nerd. They want friends, nerdy friends. Do you like manga as well? So yeah, actually I think we can do that. We can have him have a pile of books. So start like that. He's got his manga collection. Here and also here that just looking like some random lines for now, but hopefully I'll be able to make it into something a bit more coherent as I work. Oh, let me put back some music and hope it doesn't mess up the stream again. Just another TSFT. Yeah, I'm back. All right, all right, guys. So, yeah, I'm hoping you guys enjoy the stream as usual. Like, the subscriber count is climbing slowly, you know, but I'm like at 84, which I think is good. I think it's good for a new streamer, you know. But uh, I want to say something is that if you guys have some criticisms, you know, that you want to drop, like stuff you wish I do or some stuff that I do that doesn't really work, problems you have with the stream, you can really feel free to drop them in the chat or message me on one of my social media. I'm always interested to know what people think about it, you know, because, yeah, I need an audience and I want to know what, what you guys think, you know, when I do something. All right, I, so he's reading, he's reading a manga. So since I don't know that much manga, I'm going to make something a bit generic, kind of Dragon Ball Z style. B 
the guys, of course. Spider Mouth. Random characters that kind of look like Japanese but aren't because I don't know how to write or read Japanese. Some scribbles. No You're doing great, Pierre. No suggestions for no. Well, thank you. I'm glad. I think the... Anyways, the, this streaming thing is probably going to be, you know, a long-term thing. So I'm just going to keep doing it and see what works, what doesn't, what I want to do. I think sometimes it's going to be a little bit of a time commitment. So depending on my projects, maybe I won't be able to do it all the time. For now, I'm really trying to do it as much as possible. Like, I would have never drawn this creepy nerd shark otherwise. I just said that he has even more piles of books, you know. I need to work on my volume drawing too. I need to work on my drawing, you know, but I, I don't mind being not a great drawer. I know I'm, I can do some cool stuff, but, you know, compared to a lot of other artists, I don't think I'm great at drawing, but I think my strength is more telling stories, so that's what I'm focusing on, but also being good at drawing can really help with that, you know, of course. Oh, this thing isn't supposed to be there. So this is the rare weeb shark, you know. Very good. Colors Bagel says, lack of slurping today has been disappointing. Let me fix that for you right now. I'm at a friend who doesn't have really a coffee machine, so I'm just drinking water right now, so... I'm sorry, this slurp was very lackluster because I'm drinking from a bottle. I'll slurp more when I come back. Surprised you're not into manga, Pierre. How do you digest comics? Well, I mean, it's not that I'm not into it, you know. I was a fan of Dragon Ball as a kid, as a teenager. I read all the manga. Uh, I do read some manga from time to time, like that people make me check out and stuff. But yeah, I just, I read a lot of uh, more like French comics. We have a lot, lot, lot of French comics. So I grew up on that mostly. Uh, I like some manga as well. It's mostly lack of culture on my part, you know. Um, nothing against it, like... I think a lot of manga are kind of hard to get into, but it's because a lot of them are like made for kids, you know, so you should discover it as an adult, it's not as cool, but there's a lot, lot, lot of great artists in manga that I really like. I love Akira, I love, um, I don't know the name in English, but the Japanese name is Tekon Concrete, which is like bitter concrete, it's a great punk style manga, it's old no, but I really like it. And uh, yeah, yeah, I have nothing against it. How do I digest comics? I just like any food, you know, I just eat them. I cook them a little bit so they're softer with sauce. And then, you know, let my stomach do its magic. So, this is it for the doodles. Truly a blessed day. I have a tired, this tired guy, little guy drinking his coffee with a straw. I got poor old Indiana Jones burning, Casper struggling with student debt, and of course, our nerdy shark and his manga collection. And of course, the true masterpiece of today it's our happy Walter White it's calling Walter Bright so 
So, second part of the stream starts now. You got there and right. We are going to be working on a commission, a small commission that I have. So let's make it a pretty large canvas. I think I should make it, let's start with uh, this, this is a good size, do I still have it in my, yeah, working on this, so this is Bloodborne, it's um, the Orphan of course, which is a boss in the video game Bloodborne that has been tasked with making my version of. So I already have a sketch, I'm gonna work off of that, trying to make it creepier and cooler. I kind of have a specific style in mind that's gonna be a little less sketchy than what is not right here. Kind of like a cartoon version of almost, of almost medieval drawings, you know, with simple lines and stuff, but also a, a kind of symbolic side. Don't know. You'll see what I mean. Let me just take two minutes to check out what people are saying about the latest comic because I got to answer the comments. At least on Instagram, which is my main platform right now. I got three comments. Okay, the comic seems to be doing well. Better clench. Yeah. Alright, some comments. Straight up fire, obviously. It's true that this web, so guys, I'm not reading the chat right now, but I'll check it out. Someone is saying, does capo rhyme with flow? I always say it like capo instead of capo. I will answer that with, to be honest, I'm French. And use that little sweat, laughing while sweating emoji. Coldest bagel, you have a wear. So good, P man, love the colors on this piece. Thanks, bag boy. That's why I'm telling you the comment before I post it. I accidentally wrote thanks instead of thanks, but you get the feeling, the terrifying best time. Really hardcore like. So yeah, this is the streamer. I just read Instagram comments out loud. I hope you like it. Mommy, could you come pick me up? Just answering this one with a clown face. But I keep people on their toes. Very rap. <laughs> so, rap. Yeah, very rap is a pretty funny comment. I'm scared. We all are, my, my child. Okay, so got some. Oh, because I used oh, that's funny because I used the hip hop rap hashtags. I got some people that are promoting their stuff, trying to get me to, I guess, pay them so that they'll promote it. 
und das uns sagen, wo. Ein Bubu at the second one. Alright, that was actually more common than I expected. Than good. Yeah, guys, so I'll be back working on that commission in a minute. All right, all right, all right. I got some French comments too. see Susie. It's crazy. I think as soon as you use musical hashtags, you get some spam comments, you know. People are so desperate for our promotion. Oh no, the Twitch, the Twitch app on the phone has very little memory or maybe it's my phone, I don't know. Let me check again. Can I still see the chat? Did I miss the chat? Oh no. Sorry guys, I missed what you guys were saying because of this app. So yeah, let's get back to drawing, I think. Let me put back some music. No, I don't see the chat. My God, this is really annoying. Why does it keep doing that? It didn't used to do that. When I'll be back home, I'll have the music playing on my computer next to me, so won't be a problem. Where am I not seeing chat history? This is really weird, you know. So yeah, I'm back for this small Sunday stream going cozy often. Why does my Twitch phone app mess like that? I don't know. I do not know. Need a bigger brush. Want to really have some simple shapes. This is not my smoothest chat ever, you know. But you know that's fine. I think I should have just gotten my comic ready a little bit before, so I wouldn't have to go out of the app so much. But also, it, I'm streaming and traveling, so, so yeah. So let me say what I this commission is supposed to capture, like the creepiness of the original idea, which is honestly extremely creepy, but in my style. So I want to try to really simplify it and like bring my own kind of creepiness into it. Starting with his eyes, you know. I think the nose is not great either. So while I got you guys, 
you remember what I posted earlier this week starting this new segment called Sad City Lore where I explain a bit about my universe you know post facts and anecdotes and stuff like that if you guys have any part of my comics that you want a bit more lore on a bit more background on let me know because I'm going to make another of the segments soon and so if you have some characters you're interested in or some aspect of the universe you'd want explained I can help with that of course it's got that skull shape going on I want to work in a pretty clean style not funny or anything just a neck a creepy neck as well everything about this guy is creepy you know it's creep all the way down, it's like like a French dessert, it's a creep, you know. My god, shut up Pierre. Just shut up and draw. And now I have to put the music back on now. It's cool. And you know like this stream isn't like I kind of messed up the chat and everything but it's cool i think it's important to just keep going you know if i want to be like a millionaire someday i just have to accept that it's not always going to be smooth sailing you know there's something that's very important about the shapes that you draw like the lines when you draw curves and when you do straight lines and all that, it all has to it fits into each other and some drawings can look very wonky just because you're using a straight line just at one point and not anywhere else or stuff like that. So I think his ribs are actually not very human, like he doesn't have a sternum in the middle, it's just like a weird thing like that so I'm going to play on that you know just going to try to make some ribs some weird ribs yeah I gotta get that ninja money <laughs> yeah definitely I have I probably will buy multiple houses with pools and stuff as the very famous guy who can't have the chat working while having music on you know i'm hoping i would settle for like just the end money you know i don't hold all ninja but just the money for one later would be enough But yeah, that ninja money, maybe I could get his money directly, you know. I think at this level of celebrity, it's kind of weird because... Because you get so much money, you know. But also, you don't have a lot of privacy, I guess. It's weird. Also, you're making content that's maybe not that great for society or something. So as you can see, I'm just going down and down and I'm starting to kind of fade the ribs out. And then he's got that 
emaciated kind of body. The last rib is just barely suggested like that. Yeah, the plan is to get ninja's actual money and leave him the fame. Ribs creeping you out, that, we, that means I've been, I'm doing a great job, but wait for that next step. <coughs> I'll ask the commissioner to actually correct me if that's wrong because it wasn't 100% clear from the design, but I think they actually got some fleshy part, you know, of what becomes the belly button, the umbilic or whatever it's called in English sticking out of his belly still so yeah lots of stillbirth and stuff like that things which is not really very fun so this should creep you out big time right and then let's go for some legs that kind of physique you tend to exaggerate the knees and the, all the joints you know i think i'll add a little bit and reward the, the thing sticking out make it also cleaner not like clean but you know just tighter lines I think it can actually add to the creepiness when it's drawn in this cartoon clean so to speak way like that you know it's like some weird organic pipe jutting out from his belly yeah this is really gross that's what I'm doing for money Let's go back to the feet. I'm not sure I'm gonna get that ninja money by stringing myself drawing monster feet, but you know, gotta try. So I think I still want him to have kind of Chloe toes, you know. Alright, I think something like that is nice. Thankfully, I don't remember him having genitals, so just I just forget having even said the word and focus on the rest of him. Bella Mila, bonjour à tous. Grandma Death looks great today. So this is a uh, Bella Mila welcome. This is a, a commission to draw a boss from the. Bloodborne video game which is called Kos the Orphan and he's like a creepy creepy old man fetus monster basically from what I gather you know you know the blood Bloodborne games are the kind of games that are very um, feel good you know kind of like Animal Crossing just something you play to relax and have some casual fun with just nice fellows like creepy death grandma fetus or other famous creeps giant knight with no head all the nice people from this nice little town of bloodborne this must be really annoying to listen to if you're a bloodborne fan you know I did play some of the game. I used to have it on PS4. And then my house got robbed. And I didn't have it anymore. It was a good game, although I'm not enough of a gamer to really make a dent in it, you know. I was still like playing along, doing some stuff. All right, so we got the basics here. I add a bit more texture later, but let, let's first get to the arms. 
So I'm not respecting perfectly the design of this guy just because because I don't want to, I don't think it's very interesting. I'd rather have, like, if I was redesigning Bloodborne, this is how I would change it up, you know. Imagine if I could make a whole, like, weird cartoon Bloodborne, including these guys. This is how I would go about it. This placenta thing is supposed to be attached to the wrist, so let's go with something like that. way better than selling insurance let me tell you even if sometimes you do have to draw some old man fetus monsters supposed to be his placenta. I haven't actually seen a lot. This probably, this Bloodborne character is the longest I've looked at any representation of placenta, you know. Yeah, Ben Miller with the question right on time. He has something in his hand. It's a giant placenta that he used to try to kill you. So let me put back the music. Hopefully it doesn't mess up the chat again for me. And yeah, still there. So yeah, that's what's going on. It's Saturday and I'm drawing placenta. Giant placenta. Call this bagel. Sorry, I was showering. No, no, thank you. It's, it's great that you're showering, you know. I think it's good for everyone that you would. I was about to tell you, man, you need a shower. I'm glad you like it. Let me pull back a little bit to show you how it's going so far. This is the old man fetus. So I will, once this phase is done, I'll clean it up a little bit and change some stuff I don't like. And then I will add some creepy colors to him. I'm glad that you like it. I'm starting to get into the look, you know, I'm, because as I said, when you were showering, I wanted the design to be really clean, even though the, the character itself isn't clean, you know, but I wanted the lines and everything to be kind of simplified. Are you sure about that you don't think he has the umbilical cord on his stomach? Well, I can take it out. I mean, does it look like an uncircumcised penis? I think maybe it's you, but he does have something on his... Check. I'll check the design later. Let's let's remove this for now. But here, when I looked at the design, there was really something sticking out on his belly. You know, I assumed it was that. But you know, 
if you don't want it, that's fine by me. It's not like... It's not something I'm particularly attached to, you know. We still probably like a half an hour of chat, of uh, Twitch. Orphan has a weird rib cage. He does, like, if you look at the design, he do, from what, the, again, from the pictures I've seen, it seemed like he didn't really have a sternum, you know? Yeah, obviously, it's, it's, not, it's not mean at all, like, this is your commission, so... It's good that you give me that kind of feedback and we are doing it live, which is even better. But yeah, the, the rib cage thing, you know, if like I looked at the design and I really wanted to accentuate there's something going on, like it doesn't have a sternum or something. And I thought it made for like a cool, creepy thing, you know. Like he's not entirely natural, you know. I think it's a smart decision to leave out the umbilical cord because it did look really creepy. And just just have something like that, you know. And then he's got some kind of rags or skin that go from his back. His stomach is weird, it's like there are guts coming out or something. Well, you know, I'm really not sure it's guts, you know, given the theme, given the theme of the, of this design, I think it's definitely the umbilical cord, you know, but I also think that it's just because it's there in the first design doesn't mean it have to be, it has to be in this one, you know. It's got some rags hanging behind him, trailing. But yeah, I think it's uh, like one of the good things about drawing is that you don't have to you can order the drawing to be anything you want. You can totally be like, don't draw the gross umbilical cord or gut sticking out of his stomach. And that's your right. And there's nothing that anyone can say about this. This one doesn't work though. So yeah, I think we have the main thing here. Maybe we can... I don't know if it's supposed to be like one cape or several strands. I think one cape looks better though. It's easier to read, you know. Alright, so we got the basics here. Let's emphasize the joints here by thinning out a bit the arm. So you get that malnourished look. We can add 
I mean, I know I said I want it clean, but I still think you need a bit of texture. My favorite texture is just a few lines. For this beggar saying, I love how everybody in the chat is like, what the F is that? Yeah. I mean, when you asked me to draw this, I was also like that, you know. Because I did play Bloodborne a bit before it got stolen from me. So I did I never saw this boss. And yeah, kind of scary. But you know, there are just like the main strength of these games is like how creepy they can design stuff. It's not just a big muscular monster, it's just skinny fear of death inducing stuff, you know. I think probably this guy wakes up in the morning and he's like, what the fuck is that as well, you know. So if you guys were logging in the chat hoping to catch some nice relaxing drawing of of like puppies playing with butterflies, I'm sorry this is today this is a hardcore creepy podcast stream, I mean. Alright, so yeah this is starting to look pretty nice I think. A couple more lines here and there. I like his face, I think his face really really pulls you in, you know, and then you can explore his weird body after. I'm gonna try to add just a couple of volume lines to the eye holes. Something like that, but you play it tight. I've always loved eyes that are just a black hole like that. I'm glad you like it, Coldest Bagel. I'm glad you like it. I'm having fun with it. I did spend a good amount of time doing some sketches, which really helped me like understand the design. So let's start trying to add some colors. So I'm duplicating, duplicating this. And so, yeah, it has not much for colors, I think it's gonna be a lot about the texture we use as well, but I would say start with a slightly purplish gray. And yeah, there again we can have our own interpretation of the guy, but you know, I think this is a good start. Raspberry organic red. Hope it's not going to pull. Okay, it could be lighter actually. Let's start with something a bit lighter like that. Saturated. It looks more alive than the character itself, but basically. You can have it like that. He told me it was attached to the wrist like that, so. Like if I remember correctly, it's going to be something like that. So I think I worked on it on, in the prompts file the other day. 
Let me see, yeah, I still that reference picture, so I'm going to copy that. Maybe use it to get some colors that are close-ish and mostly some textures, you know. So yeah, it's actually more of a greenish blue rather than what I did. Let's see what we can do with that. Let's see what we can do with that. So, I think of green is blue, something like that. Maybe we can... That might be more fitting, I guess. So, I mean, anyway, this is really just the basis because we're going to add some of the sweet texture. This is a very different aesthetic from Dark Souls, but I think there's still the same overall creepiness, you know. I'm glad you're liking the color bagels. Colors are really essential, and you see, we'll add some atmosphere to it as well. I think let's have some rotten teeth with a very unnatural color. Maybe it's lighter. All right, so we have the bases here. I want to add some texture. up the placenta color a little bit Selection can get a little bit annoying sometimes. 
the first shots get messed up easily. Correct in terms of that. So yeah, I like this kind of. I'm pretty happy with this commission, to be honest. Even though I just I drew some dark fantasy stuff, I'll probably post it on my other account, you know, my Mortal Realms account where I post Warhammer stuff because I've been want wanting to post other fantasy stuff, and I think this could work. Okay, so this is not the tool I need, this is the tool I need. So yeah, I'm liking this. I think we can use some bit of texture on the ground as well. Okay, I have to yeah, make this a little bit bigger. Oh, and I've missed some part of the placenta to color. This is a bit big. If I change the color of this, a little bit lighter, very saturated. What can I get? Maybe not that saturated. Maybe something like that is better, you know, you get a good color contrast. And then maybe I add just a, a shadow shape beneath rather than some texture lines. So I would go with a darker blue gray, something like that, not too dark. But you know. Okay, so not that. I think no. Lighter, smaller, like that. I'm not sure if this is the right color, but I'll try, you know. Okay, so I think maybe there's something there. Just gonna fix up a couple of little color stuff. And guys, I think we are nearing the end of the chat and also the end of this commission. And obviously I'll wait for some feedback, but the main thing is starting to look pretty good, I think. And then this has to be 
looking better. Maybe sharper lines would fit more with the edginess of Bloodborne, you know, maybe I'll add even a couple lines as well. Okay, so this is not, this is not the layer I wanted to be on. 